over here, the window. Hi. No, 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 you don't have to, you don't have to open. Don't, don't be scared, you don't, ha don't be scared, you don't have to open the window. I, I just want to talk. I just want to talk. No, 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 I, I'm a Christmas goblin. Goblins are scary, but Christmas goblins aren't. Okay, so we might look a little bit scary, but uh, we're not scary. Because we're Christmas goblins, not regular uh, goblins. Um, I'm just here to check up and see if you're keeping your promise to stay in the Christmas spirit all year round. Did you forget that you made that promise? Yes, the big guy does have Christmas goblins. I'm a goblin, not an elf. Elves have a different job. Well, the big guy has many different things need to be done, and we all have our specific tasks we need to do. And there's not as many Christmas goblins as there are elves, because, you know, elves have a lot more responsibilities to do than Christmas goblins. There's a perfectly good, reasonable explanation why you don't hear about Christmas goblins. Um... Basically, yeah, okay, so goblins are kind of scary looking and we don't want to associate scary with Christmas, which I get. We're usually not around the Christmas season. We're usually throughout the rest of the year, but we do work during the Christmas season. And um, also another reason is that people, well, some people refuse to listen to us or see us so they don't spread the news of the Christmas Goblin legend story. But they love spreading it about the big guy and elves. I don't get why the elves. I get the big guy. Okay, anyway, anyway. They refuse because they don't want to be reminded of the promise that they made to keep Christmas cheer throughout the entire year. And they just want to sit and be their mopey little self. Which, that that's their choice. I, I'm not judging. not judging at all. But, yep, that, that's kind of the main reason why you don't hear a lot about Christmas goblins. Yes, I know it's not the Christmas season. As, as I said, Christmas goblins usually work outside of the Christmas season because usually around the Christmas season, there's a lot of reminders and a lot of holiday cheer and kind of gets infected with that holiday cheer that's spread all over the world. And, um... Yeah, we're just usually here to remind her and check up on people to see how they're doing. So they normally don't need that during the Christmas season. It's usually out, outside of the Christmas season. So just seeing how, how you're doing. I'm still outside of your house. I'm not, I'm not going to break into your house. I, I'm, I'm not the big guy. We, we don't do that. Because if we break into your house, that would put us on the naughty list. And no one who works for the big guy wants to be put on the naughty list. Like, ever. That's like the worst thing that could be ever done. Look, I got a job to do. And I'm not here to judge you. That's not all what I'm here to do at all. I get that reality in life kind of sinks in, sometimes hits you upside the head. And you go through Christmas and then New Year's. And you set your New Year's resol revolutions, resolutions, whatever you guys call it, and then sometimes they just fall by the wayside, and you know, it just it just happens. It happens to most of us. I'm not here to judge. That's not why I'm here. I'm not here to beat you up with a big candy cane club upside the head saying, hey, you need to remember your promise to keep Christmas cheer all throughout the year. No, that that's not what I'm doing. That that would also put me on the the naughty list, and yeah, we don't want to be on the naughty list. No, I'm I'm just here. My 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 main job is here to see how you're doing and to encourage you and to remind you what you felt last Christmas, or was that just a feeling? Because some people make decisions based on feeling. Then there's nothing wrong with that. It's just what some of us noticed when people who make decisions based on feeling and sometimes when their feelings change so does what they want and they made a promise but they they really didn't mean it which i i get feelings are a little bit fickle i just didn't know how how you were doing you just seemed a little 
down in the dumps lately and I didn't know if that was just part of life or you just needed some some little extra en encouragement kind of deal. Okay, can't be real with you. I, I like you. If I didn't, I really wouldn't be here. Okay, I guess that's not really being honest because uh, we have a list from the big guy that we have to visit these certain people on the list and if we don't, yeah, we get on the naughty list. But, but that doesn't change the fact that I like you, okay? I really, really do. There have been a few that didn't need to be visited by the Christmas goblins, but the only one that really comes to mind was Ebenezer Scrooge. But but that's only because he really kept his promise, and uh, he he yeah, you, you know what happened with him? He saw like three ghosts, and and that really changed him. But they're they're not always available, and especially with that many people in the world. That's a lot to do in one night. So every great once in a while, I guess they just pick one or so every dozen decades or whatever. And Ebenezer Scrooge was one of them. And yeah, it worked, but it's, it's not very efficient. And it doesn't always last. Sometimes they do visit people and then they, you know, the, the people don't always take heed and they do good for a couple, couple years or so, and then they kind of fall by the wayside again. They seem to have a Christmas spirit, but it, it, it doesn't seem to last. Getting visited by the Christmas goblin seems to be a little bit more effective in the long run, if, if, you, if you know what I'm saying. But, um, so yeah, I just, the big guy was worried about you, that you seem a little bit down the dumps, and, and I kind of was too, and I asked if if you could be put on my list and I, I could check up on you and see how things were going. Okay, um, I, I don't know if I'll be back throughout the year to remind you of what you promised, like, for the Christmas cheer throughout the year thing. Um, that, that, that's kind of a hit and miss deal. And usually, sometimes, it, it all depends on what the big guy says. If he's saying that uh, one Christmas goblin, it needs to be more consistent with the one Christmas goblin, then sure, I might be back. Or if he's saying, oh, we need uh, a different Christmas goblin to come reach a person because they might take a little bit different perspective on it, then that might work. But most of the time, it's, it's, it's a, um, yeah, yeah, nobody, no, no more visits. Because it, it's your choice, and we're just here as reminders here and there. And, um, yeah, usually we're more subtle about this, but, but like I said, I, I really like you, and I just, I just want you to, I saw what you were like last Christmas season. And I just want you to remind you that you can still have that. Even though reality and life gets hard, you still don't have to lose that Christmas cheer. Well, um, I anyway, I'm, I'm just a reminder of what you want to do with it. It is totally up to you. Uh, I, I should go and, and, and check some more names off my list. Um, Merry Christmas.